Thank you for watching ASFN and if you haven't subscribed yet, please help us out. Subscribe to the channel, push that notification button so you can get notified each time we upload new clips. Now we're fishing a league, a common venue for Zululand at Ntazini Banks today. Unfortunately there's a bit of a groundswell, the, the weather wasn't, didn't line up perfect for, for today. So it's going to be hard work getting some fish. All of us will be really surprised if there's uh, several diamonds coming out here. So it's really going to be up to your work rate and the effort you put in to see if you can maybe get one of those scattered diamonds and whatever else there is. There will be shad. I know there's shad, yeah? So you need to jack for that and try and catch the biggest shad instead of the, the smaller shad that doesn't weigh. Obviously, it's all about points for the team. I'm going to fish here with Dean at this section, just a little bit north. There's Dean now. Now he's a Zambi killer here at the back, so we'll see. we'll see what he does today. And obviously we can fish for the Zambezis. But uh, yeah, I think it's all about effort today, getting points on the board. How's it, guys? Uh, I think it's... Uh, it looks alright. There's some colour. Yeah, not too bad. I think we'll catch some fish. I haven't felt the temperature, have you felt? No, I haven't. But, uh, no, it's a league round, so I think it's quite an important one for us. Uh, we're sitting uh, right up there as a team. Uh, some of our anglers are right up there at the top 10 as well. So uh, uh, we're going to give it our best shot. Uh, I think somebody's going to catch a dam if somebody does fish for it. I'm definitely going to fish for it today. I don't think the diamonds are going to be wild. So, yeah, stay tuned. Because it's high tide here, you need to get over the back there. So I'm fishing a smaller circular because I'm going to use a smaller bait to cast a bit further. But I also use a double hook. I use this as a little scallop hook up top for, for the shad that's around. And I'll put a piece of fillet on there to make sure uh, they'll attach. Because this floats a bit more, it's a bit higher up. The shad a lot of times will hit that before they destroy your bait in the bottom. And they'll get hooked. And that way we've got some fresh shad for bait as well on the side. So yeah, that's the theory behind that. And I'm going to use mackerel only. I've got some fresh mackerel from Kingfisher on uh, Wednesday. And uh, that's, that's going to be the go-to bait until I get some shad. The shad, just because there's a lot of shad in the water, they take your, your mackerel off so quickly. So if that's the case today, then you switch to a shad head just to keep your bait out there long enough or a whole shade on a slide but you're allowed to slide in the common venue in Zululand so I brought the slide rod and you can put a whole shade or a live shade out and uh, that way get a much better chance for a bite so that's that's what you want to do you want to maximum, maximize your chances in getting a fish a proper decent fish and at the same time we've got that little hook for the shad that will maybe keep the points going 
Now that's always what you do before a compass. You've got all these theories and blah 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 blah. I was here last Sunday, so that's six days ago. And uh, based on that, I made a bit of an assessment and a strategy for today. And we'll see, there were some teeth around last week. So for that to life shad or a shad head or whatever nice big tough bait you can put out there that will last. Just rigging the slide rod up as well and then we start building those baits. Okay, slide rods ready, slide traces ready, all done, then it's just bait. Guys, look at that, that's fresh mackerel. Look how this fish still looks at you. And I think uh, if we ask him nicely, he'll wink. Fresh, fresh eyes. So now it's just building a nice little streamline, um, streamline little bait. So I'm gonna start by tapering it down. Okay. too much foam that takes it up too high up for the shed to jump at it I just want a bit of foam and I'm gonna combine that with the hair curler and then another thing here with the shed around ghost cotton guys unfortunately I hate working with ghost cotton but uh, what's going to need to happen with all the shad around. Switching to a steel dangle because of the shad. They'll bite the, the braided uh, dangles, they bite off. You take your whole bait away from your hook. I'm going to put a bit of latex to keep my ghost cotton in piece of shrink wrap. Stick that over and that just makes sure it doesn't slip off the hook. There we go. juices in there to lure any fish in the, in the vicinity and then on my top hook I'm just going to put the tail piece not too big either he is awful big So, just getting all our stuff ready to throw, we still got 20 minutes. So, I just got my two setups ready. I've got my tournament heavy with my salt just 8,040 pound J bread. I've got a 120 pound full metal jacket, standard trace. But what I've done is I've just put an 8 hook on because it's still high tide and uh, you want to get you know, over the back. So, we're going to use a, obviously a smaller bait than like just a mackerel head. Uh, on a smaller hook. There's, there's also a chance of catching a brown and a honey and you know those other smaller fish that are just just on the other side of the bank. So that's my sort of heavy tackle for now. Uh, I'm not going to start with this though. I'm going to start with my uh, medium heavy with the salt to 6500, 30 pound braid on there, jay braid. Small brown swell, I'm not sure if a cone's going to stay there. And obviously we're casting from the shore, so I actually want to not miss out that first throw. You know, normally you throw the first throw, and you throw a cone, and then maybe there's weed, or it doesn't sit, and then you've got to reel out, and then it uh, just doesn't start well. So I'd rather just throw a wire first, just to hold the bait there. And if I see there's no wash, and the other guys with the cones are sitting, then on my next throw, I'll change to a cone. Yeah. 
everyone's puzzling for a bite. Got one little cheat bait here. And they said he thinks there was a brown chowing on his bait. So that's a base squid uh, that I caught. How's that? That's that's the perfect brown skate bait. So I'm gonna put this on quickly. Okay, so we're gonna open it up. That's the best part of the squid. Normally when it's frozen like this, I just make a slit and I, and I throw it. But uh, I'm gonna open it up and do it properly now. Let's make a proper squid bait. So I'm gonna lightly tap the skin, very lightly. Just to soften it up very lightly. Right. I'm gonna cut off this piece there. Makes it look untidy. I'm gonna chop that, I'm gonna chop that, okay? Then what's important here is there's a beak on the inside. So if you take your knife and you put it in there, you can pull out that beak. It should come out just now. There we go, there's a beak there. So once you take that off, it relaxes the tentacles. Right? What you're gonna bash with the back side of the knife. Very lightly again. That's just to, so they don't curl up. I'm just gonna give this a little bash. Okay, got a dangle tied to the hook. Shad up. Yeah, it's fine, Chad. Okay. Sheds. Okay, you're gonna tie it on. Crisscross on the eyes. And I'm gonna take this, put it over, and wrap it up. show you what I'm going to do with the eye now. You can see I covered it. It's not going to be covered. I'm going to cut off that excess. So nice and tight. You want the bait to keep its shape. Got a mustard uh, 6 soy soy here. But it's a good size squid. And uh, you're obviously targeting a, a brown. Cut around the eye quickly. There. Much easier with the scissors. I just can't find my now. It's somewhere in the sand. So guys, very, very precise way on how to make the bait. Um, small piece of foam inside. Then what I do is after I make the bait, you can see the tentacles have lifted. Just take my... And the last most important thing is to poke that head in the corner because it's got a black set. Normally I use my scissor, there we go, poked, so the eye doesn't go black. You just poke that there, there we go. It releases all that black. So that's a base squid right there. Set. This is gonna throw a fire. Yeah. 
enough bait over the back so I threw a bait for a zambi uh, let's hope we get a bite everything's quiet there's no bite today there's been very few fish caught a few shad and some cop no murphies around no diamond no brown skate nothing water is cleaning up so I'm gonna sit with this bait for at least two hours at least two hours hope for a zambi let's see Right gents, we've been at it for two hours, ten minutes. Uh, I think I saw two shad that one little snapper cob Dean got. And then there's now a guy in for the first time. It looks like a decent fish. So I think that's how it's going to happen today. Here and there you might see someone who can ice fish. And that's it. But we have to dig at it. Got a mackerel head in the bottom and yeah, shad are just trying flat out. Let's see if this one weighs. Okay, off the block. minutes left it's been a very very slow day I mean I've seen two browns and most of the fish haven't weighed here even the smaller fish I got one lesser that weighed so on the board I just threw a whole shad now and uh, one of our anglers Q and uh, one of our top juniors he got a diamond of 176 centimeters so I think that's the only diamond for the day so far so uh, well done to him at least he got a got the bite I think maybe we may see a diamond on the push if we're lucky. Uh, we've got 50 minutes more. Uh, yeah, Andre is sitting on a big, big uh, tuna head slide. And uh, yeah, all the boys are prepared, so let's see. 